You really only got one life and the more confidence you get in yourself the more you feel better about yourself and then you start thinking about it like I really only got one life and with that confidence that ability to just not care really about certain things or not care about what people think or if certain things don't work out or this or that thinking too much about things and you really start to realize like we only got one life why the hell am I living so afraid of being me you know what I'm saying like why am I afraid to pursue that girl why am I afraid to go for this dream why am I not being a why am I not able to just go out in public without feeling anxious and you start thinking about all these things and you realize how I said you really only got one life and when you get that confidence you will start acting way different you start not caring you start not worrying about things that you've worried about in the past and it almost like sets you free in a way and when you're free you will take life less serious enjoy more things experience more things and just overall live a better life now a lot of you guys might say like oh easier said than done bro I got this going on I got this going on and yeah you do so deal with it you know what I'm saying deal with that and it doesn't come easy just to one day you're gonna be like oh yeah I don't really care no more but as you really work on yourself and you really gotta be putting in the work man and you really work on yourself the more and more confidence you get the better and better you become the less and less you will care about what others think or the less and less you will care about things in general because you will be happy with yourself and know that even though a situation may suck in the moment you are still gonna be you and you're still gonna be fine at the end of the day and the ability to really believe that and know that about yourself will be the thing that lets you be free and lets you just do shit without even thinking of like anything holding you back man because even myself I was doing this but then as I've been, as I've been improving like the other day at work got shoddy with me and usually I'd be like a little reserved and a little cool and all that but then I was like bro I actually like her she's shy let me get her out of that so I started yapping started trying to get her out of it and little by little I'm getting there also I threw her a little little I was like man these pants look good on you she got all she's like oh what she got all nervous started walking away then she came back I'm like and when you tie your hair up and all this and all that you know what I'm saying then she got nervous she freaking ran away got her all nervous and shit but like you see I because I don't care in the sense like I want to tell her that shit so I'm going to See what I'm saying? Or if there's somebody at work, I'm just looking at him. I'm like, hey, let me go ask him some shit real quick. Let me just see how he's doing. I'm going to go do that because who cares? I, I wore overalls to work because, you know what? I don't care. I wanted to wear overalls. I like how they look. So I was like, you know what? Let me wear some of these. So I did. Some people joked about it. Some people were cool. Oh, they're cool, fresh. It is what it is. I still wore them. And these are just small little examples. But these small little things... A lot of people overthink and a lot of people won't act on them because they have those things blocking them because dude these things are so small and so like minor now think about the things that people block that are so big and actually worth way more like following your dreams asking out that crush pursuing a business Venture that you've really been trying to do, but you're just scared to make that jump. And don't get me wrong, that don't mean things won't be hard. They will be. But you will experience them, and you might just accomplish some shit. And even if you don't get that experience, that knowledge, keep going. You know what I'm saying? Those are just some small things that I have. 
And then this is where you start thinking about all these issues and all these things. Like, they're always there, part of life. But when you really realize, man, we got one life, why the fuck am I tripping over some bullshit? Because a lot of people worry about bullshit, and that makes me so mad when there's actual issues to be worried about. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of the bullshit comes from the lack of money, which is sad, but it's reality. And that's why I stress that it is important to pursue money. But don't let that pursuit of money define you or corrupt you. But it is important. It is needed. Because when that, when that stress of money leaves, you can really stress, not even stress, but you will really focus on the shit that really matters. Like your family, your friends, loved ones, community, whatever, whatever you partake in, whatever you, whatever you're a part of. And then you will allow yourself to enjoy the world, life, the bad days, the good days, the people in this world. Because, man, we're all here one time. A lot of people don't live like that. A lot of people are held back by their thoughts, securities, or just the world that they think is judging them. And you know what? There probably will be some people that judge you. But who cares? Because this is your life, not theirs. So don't worry about what they got to think. Just do what you got to do. And you will live a better life. And just don't fix all your problems. Don't get it twisted. But it will allow you to experience more. Do more. And feel a little free. And that's what I'm really trying to get at. And another thing I'm just throw here in at the end, man, because I have a coworker that's really stressing about this girl. And he's like trying to do all these little mind games with her. I'm like, man, look, she's either gonna fuck with you or and she or she's not. And yeah, you can do all these little tricks, tips and tricks to get her to fuck with you. But why? Think about it. Bro, you got one life. I'm like, bro, respect yourself first and foremost. Develop yourself. Why the hell are you going to spend your time? And why would you want a girl that you have to be doing all these tips and tricks and all these games and all these things to to get her to like you. Why do you even want that at the end of the day? If you're on some horny shit and yeah, you can just do that to fuck, then go ahead. But I don't even recommend doing that shit. That's some horny shit. I don't fuck with that. Me personally. But if you're really trying to pursue a girl for a relationship, why the hell do you have to do all these things just to get her to like you, man? That's not how it should be. You know what I'm saying? Because you're doing all this just to get that attention. And then when you get the attention, is that even gonna be what you want? You know what I'm saying? So it's either she fuck with you or she don't. And she fuck with you, bruh. This is where I got a little messed up. And I'm going to go into another video. But, like, I was treating her like she wasn't fuck with me. I was treating her like all these red pill or, like, these alpha male fucking, uh, fucking videos. You know what I'm saying? Because I was in a weak spot, in a spot of confusion. So I allowed that to influence me. And that's the way I was approaching the situation. But, bro, she fuck with me. And I fuck with her. Why am I acting like I'm don't? Because people say, oh, yeah, but that would turn her off. And that would do this and this and that. And you know what? It might. Or it might not. And that don't mean I'm going to be fucking like crazy. Like, ah, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to be cool, bro. If I want to tell her she look good because she fucking look good, I'm going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, she be, bro, she cool. She fuck with me. I don't have to do all these fucking tricks and all this. I'm going to just approach this shit like how I want to approach it. And if she ends up not fucking with it, then it's not, it wasn't meant to be. And that's okay. Because eventually, if it don't work out with her, there will be another one. And not to knock her or anything. But that's just the way life is. And if things end up working out with her, then... Because, dude, I almost lost her in a way. 
real shit because of the way I was acting and the way I was thinking at the moment. So then I changed my approach and right now it's pretty smooth, man. It's more enjoyable for myself and I'm sure for her. And think about that. It was less enjoyable back then when I was acting all dumb. Now it's more enjoyable. We got one life. Make it enjoyable. It's a risk, but that's what life is also. Just wanted to come here and say that just because I was going to, I was talking to another coworker. He was telling me about, like, oh, you should do this, bro. I'm like, bro, like, nah, I'm trying to keep it cool, bro. He's like, like, who cares, bro? You have one life. And when he hit, when that, when he hit me with that, I really internalized it. Like, <clears throat> it really got in my head. I was like, bro, this is one life. Why the fuck am I? Like, bro, you, if you want to say some shit to someone, say that. Don't just, but don't be out here just talking shit for no reason, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Be cool. But, like, that really went in my mind. And I was like, bro, we really just got one life for real. And this is things that you've probably already thought about before. And a lot of people always think about, like, oh, we only got one life. But they still don't do anything. And I don't know why that hit different. But it hit different when he said that. And it really made me think about it. And act a little different and do a little different. And moving forward, I'm going to continue to keep that momentum going. And really just start living a little more you know and i hope you can also but look in a to be able to you do have to work on yourself you got to grow become more confident more sure of yourself content in the sense that you know that at the end of the day good or bad you are who you are you believe what you believe and You'll be all right. Take care.